this is Evan from Stock Music Musician and today I've got my review of Reason Plus. I've been holding off on creating this review for a few months because I wanted to see how Reason Plus evolved and developed. So in this video I want to answer whether or not Reason Plus is worth it, whether there's things we should be concerned about, who Reason Plus is a good fit for, and who maybe Reason Plus is a bad fit for. Um, one thing I do want to note is as I'm releasing this, Reason 11 is still the default version of Reason, and there's only been one rack extension that's been released algorithm. Uh, over time, I assume that Reason Studios is going to release new versions of Reason, new rack extensions, and so that will probably ne necessitate updated reviews. Um, but right now, May 2021, this is the Reason Plus review. So let's get started. So what's included with Reason Plus? Well, Reason Plus includes the latest version of Reason, which right now is Reason 11. And if you subscribe to Reason Plus, you'll get all new versions of Reason automatically. Reason Plus also includes all Reason Studios brand rack extensions and all future releases. So whenever a new rack extension is released by Reason Studios, you'll get a copy of it. And finally, Reason Plus also includes weekly sound packs, which feature patches, presets, and samples. Um, and those are available to download uh, and add to your Reason setup. Now I'm gonna get into more detail about all of these uh, in a minute, but one thing I do wanna invite you to do is to like and subscribe this video because um, if you're interested in Reason at all, this is one of the best channels for learning about it. I'm gonna to continue to teach you all sorts of cool things about Reason. So be sure to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions about Reason Plus, just click the link below. So the first question we have to answer <laughs> about whether or not Reason Plus is good is to answer, is Reason 11 good? My general take on this, and I've done more in-depth reviews, is that yes, Reason is good but it's starting to show its age. Uh, that's reason 11. Uh, reason 12 is 100% seems to be slated to come out this year based on what we've heard from Reason Studios and some grumblings about beta and things like that. So while I would say that yes, reason 11 is inspiring, it's got really cool instruments, great effects, um, and sort of the workflow in reason can make you can allow you to do really cool like almost modular synthesis things where all the parts start talking to each other using cv control um that inspires you and it makes you make really cool and fun music there are also some old things in the workflow that make it uh perhaps not as sleek and modern as other daws because reason really sticks to the metaphor of a physical studio and while that's great and inspiring, if you have a really large session, it can start actually getting in the way. And so it'd be great if there was a, like kind of a metaphorical workflow posted on top of the literal workflow that is uh, Reason. Though I also need to note that, you know, Reason is lagging. It's lacking a lot of core features that you would see in other DAWs in 2021. So, you know, where Reason was, Reason 11 was when it was released, like almost, I don't know, 18 months ago. Uh, and where it is today compared to its peers, it has not really caught up at all. Um, so I'm hoping that Reason 12 will provide more. But overall, is it a good DAW? Yeah, it's a good DAW. It's inspiring. But it's really the sounds, the instruments, and the effects. And so as we get into who may benefit from Reason 11 or Reason Plus, um, we'll kind of see that maybe... For some people, Reason Plus is a good idea to subscribe to, and maybe for other people, it isn't. Before we go on to the next slide, though, I do want to let you know that I'm going to be having a free mastering workshop at the end of this month. There's a link down below to attend. Click it, sign up. I'm going to teach you everything I know about mastering, and this is how I've gotten songs on TV, radio, uh, and Netflix documentaries. I'm not going to hold anything back. Literally, like, two-hour live workshop. Get your questions answered about mastering. So sign up. Are the rack extensions good? Yes, the rack extensions are great. 
Um, they tend to be the best things that Reason Studio creates. And I just want to be clear here, there are rack extensions created by third parties and there are rack extensions created by Reason Studios. Reason Plus only gets you access to those rack extensions created by Reason Studios. So that's the first thing I need to say. Um, but these are really, really good instruments and effects and utilities. I would say that arguably they're overpriced when sold alone. They tend to cost about $99 each. I mean, they're, they're, they're $99 cents if there are such things as $99 cents, but the sort of thing you would expect kind of eventually be bundled into the core product. Um, but because they're overpriced when sold alone, it does really make new versions of Reason or Reason Plus more appealing. Because if you just get new ones whenever they're released, you don't have to like say like, oh, should I spend the $99 or not? They just come out. These synths have really unique sounds. They're very cool. They are very usable in my experience. Uh, they fill a lot of you know niches that aren't contained either in the core Reason product or actually in a lot of DAWs. Um, there's creative tools like uh, you know sequencers. Uh, there are effects and there are instruments that are really, some of them I think are best in class. Friction, which is sort of their string modeling thing and um, algorithm really especially come to mind there. Um, they also have excellent user interfaces. I think that it's kind of the ironic thing that Reason Studios, I think makes the best UI for their new synths. Like, Basically, I think it was with Reason 10 when they released Europa and Grain, and that sort of design language, as they've carried it forward, is both really inspiring and powerful, but also, it's like if you learn one synth, then you can learn how to master all the other ones, and it's just, they're pleasant to look at, aside from the fact that it's not uh, in 4K, but that's coming out at some point this year as well, um, and just the overall interface is really good. So these are inspiring, powerful instruments, and worth it. A big question though is how many are going to be released each year? Uh, you know, so if you subscribe to Reason Plus, how many rack extensions are you going to get? My guess would probably be three to four a year. But again, they ha well, not again because I haven't mentioned it in this video, but they have not really announced a roadmap, which we'll get to, and I think is really an important thing for them to do. Um, and what about the samples that you get every week? In my mind, the samples are good and the presets are good. You know, there's nothing amazing, but it's nice to have the option at the same time though it's kind of hard to manage all of these samples because reason has like an archaic organizational structure you can't you know search by keyword you can't really create auto you know folders or anything like that you don't really have like a global search um so it these can be hard to manage but they're, they are good samples and presets and all that, but I haven't found myself using them. Um, so here I wanna talk about the five year ownership cost of Reason Plus. First, having a subscription for Reason Plus, then sort of the moderate upgrade scenario, and then the scenario where you bought everything. So the blue line here, the dark blue line is a Reason Plus subscription assuming you're starting from zero. Over five years, assuming they release three versions of Reason, um, like four rack extensions a year, and you get the music or the weekly samples, you know, which you value at something. I don't know. I think I valued them at like $10 a month. Um, you would have spent $1,200 on Reason Plus. But if you ever canceled it, you would have no residual value left over. In the next scenario, the yellow line, this is like the moderate upgrade scenario, where you already own Reason, you bought it for 400 bucks, you buy a few rack extensions over the year and you upgrade Reason twice. You don't upgrade it all the time, but from time to time. Over five years, you would have spent about, I think $900, something like that. And then if you, that, and you still have $900 worth of value. Finally, if you're a completist, you know, and you buy all the upgrades that Reason comes out with, you buy all the rack extensions, and these people are out there, you will spend like something over 23, maybe around $2,300, and 
and it would have all of that value. Now it's worth noting that the people in the dark blue line and the light blue line have the same equipment, but they don't have the same costs. It's also worth noting that upon cancellation though, the people that bought everything own everything. And if you want to get more into the particulars of owning Reason versus renting it, Reason Plus, um, I've put together this Reason Plus calculator where you can sort of figure out if it's a good deal for you. I'll put a link to it. Um, boom, but I'll put a link down in the bottom. So like, let's say you don't own Reason. All right, that's $399. Um, and if you end up in the green, then it's probably a good value to buy Reason Plus. And you, you know, well, let's say you already own Reason and you want to purchase three rack extensions. You think you do that over the next five years. Let's see that really speak to you and you upgrade reason once and you do subscribe to something like Loop Cloud. Well, at that point, you would have spent $726 as opposed to the $1,200 that it costs for Reason Plus. And so in that case, you probably are better off not buying Reason Plus, although you would have had many more instruments. But if you're the type of completionist that, you know, buys all the rack extensions and upgrades, then you're spending more money. And so maybe Reason Plus is worth going for. Uh, and you can, you know, use that calculator, figure out for yourself if Reason Plus is good for you. You know, it depends on a lot of assumptions, how many rack extensions are released every year, what the average rate of a rack extension is. Some are $60, some are $90, $99, some are like $120. How many versions of Reason are released between now and then, um, and what they charge for the updates? Traditionally, I think it's like 119 or 129 dollars to upgrade Reason, but maybe that amount will change over time. So that also affects the amount that you would save with it. Um, going back now to who Reason Plus is good for. These are people that I would really recommend it to, and in fact, they have recommended. Uh, Reason Plus to friends. And if you want to buy Reason Plus, I have a link down below. It's an affiliate link. So any purchase you make uh, supports the channel at no cost to you. Um, and these are the people that I would genuinely think, yeah, Reason Plus might be a good value. So skilled musicians, but that don't have any DAW experience. I have a friend who's, um, you know, been in the recording studio, been in successful bands, but like has never really bothered to learn how to record on his own. He's a guitar player. I think Reason Plus is a great thing for him. He gets, for 19 bucks, he gets to figure out if he likes working in a DAW, 19 bucks a month. He gets a DAW that's a lot like using guitar pedals and like has that analog studio feel. And, you know, he has everything he needs. He doesn't have to like worry about, oh, should I get this or that? Um, he doesn't have to make any decisions. He can just focus on making music and learning the equipment. And if it's not for him, cancel it. Go, do, go with another DAW. Um, I think Reason Plus is actually also kind of appealing for those Reason completists that buy everything. You are out there. You're going to buy everything anyway, so why pay for it? You've probably given propeller heads, you know, a lot of money over the years. Save yourself some money. Finally, you've got people that use Reason as a plugin. You've got people that use Reason as a plugin. And for you, I think Reason Plus is a really good idea. Basically, you can just dip in and dip out to this like world of, you know, I don't know, probably it's over 30 cents, gigabytes of samples, um, presets, effects, you know, use it for a few months, make a bunch of tracks, cancel it next year, come back, use it for a while and cancel it. Use it as you need it. And I think for the, those people that just are looking for a little inspiration, or they know exactly what they need it for, why spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on Reason when you can just get Reason Plus when you need it? Now, who is people, who is Reason Plus bad for? Power users, I would say somebody like me. I don't need everything. I've got a lot of other plugins by companies, you know, from native instruments to everything else. Um, if I didn't have the channel, I wouldn't upgrade to every version of Reason. I normally like skip every version or buy every other version. Um, and so to me, like, do I want to be paying every month for it? No, there's a lot of stuff I don't need. I don't spend, 
and at 1999 I don't spend 240 dollars a year on reason um would I like to have some of these sounds I definitely would um but you know at the same time do I need them no I've got a lot of other ways of making sound then you have the hobbyists these are people that like rarely upgrade reason uh and I have a, a good friend who you know I think he owned reason six or seven and he just bought reason 11. you know he's happy with like finding those free waves plugins and those free rack extensions i'm um, not free wave plugins but free vsts and things like that you know you make a few songs a year there's no reason to be spending a monthly fee uh you will absolutely lose money over time finally there are the principled who just hate subscriptions you hate the idea of subscriptions you don't like where this is going do not get reason plus but if you're one of those people that reason plus is for i think this is genuinely a good thing because for a lot of these other people, I have to say, like, they're like, well, should I buy Reason 11? I'm like, do not buy Reason 11 right now because Reason 12 is just around the corner, right? But sh should I get a Reason Plus subscription now? Absolutely, because you're going to get Reason 12 for free when that comes out. So there's no reason not to act if you, Reason Plus is a good choice for you. Um, that said, and I made full on ver videos on this, but about my fears about Reason Plus. And there's a lot to be concerned about. First, that uh, subscriptions could become required. You know, over time, Reason Studios could force people into a subscription, and that would be bad. As long as we have the option of either buying it and using it as we always have, or subscribing, that's fine. Everybody can find a product that works for them. As I laid out, there are people that Reason Plus is great for, and there are people that it's not. One of my big issues is that there's no clear roadmap. Where is Reason going? Why hasn't the community been involved in this? Why was Reason Plus a surprise? Why are they not giving us what we need and opposed, as opposed to giving their investors um, what they want? There is um, a disconnect here between the corporate side and the real world of Reason users, and it's not good. I think a big contrast to this is, for example, um, there's this video game called Civilization, and uh, last year they said, we're gonna do a season pass. And in the season pass, we're not gonna give you all the details, but we're gonna give you a roadmap. We're gonna release, I don't know what they said exactly, but like six updates, which is gonna include, you know, six new civilizations, 10 new wonders, X, Y, and Z. And we're still figuring out all the details, but you're at least gonna get this over this amount of time. But with Reason Plus, you have no idea what you're getting. You know, how many, how often are they going to release updates to Reason, uh, the core part? How often are they going to release rack extensions? Um, you know, what are the main features they're hoping to update? Even my web host gives me roadmaps of where their development cycle is going every quarter or every six months. So the lack of communication, especially if they're expecting people to subscribe, I think that's just really rude. It's bad, and it, I think, discourages subscription. Also, I think there's the question of long-term value. Will users find a lot of value from subscribing? As I said, there is a chunk of users that absolutely will, um, and I think there's a chunk that won't. And until Reason can really deliver, show that they're able to deliver on that promise of delivering value, I, I have some concerns about Reason Plus. Overall, though, I think as long as Reason Plus exists alongside the standalone Reason, uh, there are a lot of reasons to recommend it to those groups of people that Reason Plus is a good fit for. Skilled musicians getting into recording, people that use the Reason plugin and just want the occasional dose of inspiration, and completists who buy everything uh, but can save thousands by doing it. Um, and so if you're interested in getting Reason Plus, like I said, there's an affiliate link to grab a copy down below. But those are my thoughts. What do you think about Reason Plus? Would you recommend it at this day and age? Or are you looking to wait? Or are you just waiting for the full version? Or are you done with Reason Studios because you think this is stupid? I'd appreciate it. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to join that mastering workshop. Uh, even if you're not watching live, you can still get a replay of it. So sign up and I'll see you there. Bye.